Okay, we are at 9714 37th Avenue Southwest. We are at the southeast corner of the home. And what we're doing is a sewer scope. We're going to enter our waistline clean out here that is at about just off the house. And as we go through this clean out, here's where our water from the bathtub is coming in about three feet. I'm going to push beyond that, and here at about four feet, we're going to come into our first, what we call, a uh, transition. We're going to transition from white plastic waste lines to a different medium, and that is a concrete tile. So as we advance forward, we are, that's just slightly monetary debris. going to make this turn and going to continue on down the line. Here we have some root growth at about 34 feet coming into the line. So we're going to call to have that routered out. And that root growth goes all the way to 35 feet. Seventy feet. We're making a turn. And that is continuing forward. And another turn at seventy four feet.
need to feed most of our joints look really good of a joint we're at 105 feet looks like we're okay, continue on down our joints now are still concrete but they look like they're newer waistlines have root intrusions at about 34 to 36 feet right in that area, but we haven't seen anything since. We are at about 138 feet. Come on here, I think we've got a turn. Look at that. You know, actually what we do have is in a drop. Yeah, here's where we're going to drop down into the sea Let's see where this goes. Yeah, we're dropping down a big deep hole here, and we have hit the bottom of the city sewer main. So, here we are at about 140 feet, and that is the flow of the city sewer going by us. So, looking good there. So we do have root intrusions at about 34 to 36 feet. I'm going to go turn off our water. And then we're going to retract our waste room. We're turning on our sonar. We're going to track this spot where we see the root intrusion. Our water is turned off inside the home, so we're going to see a decreased flow of water as we come out of the waistline. Get a better look at everything. So here we 
we are at about 135 feet. We'll continue to back out until we get to that point where we see our root intrusion. Dale, Renee, before you leave, Dale, we were able to get all the way to the city sewer main at 140 feet. You were? Yeah. Okay. So it, it looks fairly clean. It's all concrete waste lines. After about this transition where we go four feet out, we, we turn from, con from plastic to concrete. At 34, 36 feet, we've got some root intrusions over around these roadies. Or these, yeah. Okay. okay. Not significantly bad. Okay. Not blocking the line. Yeah. But it does need to be routed. Okay. That's kind of like running a snake through it and beating it up. Yeah. Okay. Cutting those roots. And then adding a product called Rudex. You get it at the hardware. Just add Rudex to your toilet on a seasonal basis, just a little Rudex, and that's okay. acid to roots and it kills them. Okay. Keeps them at bay. Okay. But outside of that, we're all looking good. Okay. Okay? Cool. So it just sounded to me like you were heading out. Yeah. No worries. I understand it. You probably got a class waiting for you on Zoom. Hopefully. Yay. Yeah, hopefully. Cool. Uh, thank you so much. Certainly. Um, You'll get this report. Both of these reports will be available for you for uh, tomorrow morning at about 10 a.m. Okay. Okay? There you go. Yep. Okay, no. Thanks, Dale. that turn we experienced earlier at about 74, 75 feet, right? 73 feet. So where the line makes a turn, heads out towards the city, the city. section of pipe where we have some root intrusions. Should be somewhere around the 36 foot mark. You can feel it there. That's a turn in the line and there they are right there at 35 feet. So we are going to go and mark that with some spray paint.
No, but I'll double double check it real quick. Are we out? No problem. Let's uh shut this down and we'll take a quick wander around.